Okay, uh, this video is on how to uh, level a scope on a CZ457 Pro Varmint Suppressor Ready. We do have an Athlon 6 to 24, um, 6 to 24 by 50 millimeter objective lens. Uh, we did have a couple of Vortex rings, but I decided to go with. Uh, um, I decided to go with the uh, Arkin rings, but they're not as good as Vortex, but I'm going to use them and then we'll probably ship them back and I'll probably go back with a, another scope or something. But in any case, um, we are, we've got a couple of different ammos here. I hope you can see it. Uh, we did some uh, ballistic charts on both of these. Here's the clip for the gun. We do have a case here. However, I realized with the scope, I didn't send it back yet, but it's gonna go back to Bass Pro. Uh, it doesn't fit in there with the scope. I, I didn't know that till I actually got it and I looked at it and said, you know what? That son of a gun ain't gonna fit. But anyways, we got this bigger one. This one's not bad. Um, I ordered a Range Max. I think I wanna go with a Range Max instead. But anyways, let's see, we'll take a look at what we got over here. What we've got is a cold beer, and I'll drink to that. Anyways, what we did is we, you can see there's a little green bubble back there. We leveled that out. Then we leveled this bubble. Then we leveled this bubble on top of the scope. And uh, we're about to torque these uh, bolts down right now. I forget what they are, but it is written on here. And, uh, but everything is ready. It's all set up. I've got the, um, the scope as far back as I want it perfectly for my, for my, when I rest my cheek on the stock here, my eye is right there and I get the full view of the scope. And we did torque this. This is an area 419 rail. We did torque that down to 22 inch pounds. I believe it is. That's already done 100%. And uh, all we have to do is torque down the scope to its specifications. Oh, that's right. We got to torque down these rings also to the rail. Uh, there's a number there. I forget what it is, but that's what we're about to do. And uh, we're going to show you, show you how it's done here in just a second. Anyways, let me move this beer and this. And let's set this little old beast down about right here, I guess. Let me take a look at what we got here. I believe the... Yeah, let's take a look. Like I said, the, the numbers are written down here, that's for sure. These are 30 inch pounds. <laughs> okay, we're going to take this little handy dandy Nico. Turn it up to 30. It's 25. We're not going to go quite 30. We're going to go like 28. I, I just don't trust torque wrenches. Okay, we've got 30 on this. Oop, and don't hit anything. Okay, we're still good. I, I, I banged into it a little bit, but we're good. Okay, we're going to torque down these rings here. We're going to do a little. A little at a time on each. All four of them. That one's good. I'm going to back it off and then that back it off to reset the. The torque wrench. Here we go with 30. And the final one, like I said, we'll back off on it and then turn it. That's good. All three bubbles are, even though I hit this towel a little bit with my, they're all good. They're all shooting, shooting straight. Okay, these, uh, ones at the top here are 18 
but we're not going to go 18. We're going to go 15. You know what I'm saying? We're a firm believer in uh, these wrenches not being perfect. It's a nice wrench, though. And you can see we set it at 15 inch pounds. It says 18 to dual. And we're going to alternate these uh, when we torque these down. So we're going to go with start with this one right here. The bubbles are still good. And we're not going to go all the way. You see how I'm staggering them? That one's good. Okay, we're going to back this off. Now we're going to go again. Like I said, we're not going to go all the way. That one's good. Oh my God. I, I, you know what? We're going to go this side. I will go 18. I, I know for a fact it can take more than 15. So now we're going to, it's good to do it. We'll definitely do 18 just like they called it out. I'll settle for 17.5. How about you guys? Okay, now this will be the final torque. Done. 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 It doesn't matter if you knock, stagger it. It doesn't matter if you knock it off now because it's there. Everything was level when we did the initial adjustments. That's it. Then what you want to do is you want to return your um, thing to zero because uh, that's what makes it so it won't go bad on you. You got to turn this torque wrench back to zero. Anyways, that's it. Bubbles good. Bubbles good. Everything's good. I like it. So that's how you uh, set up a, a, uh, a scope on your CZ457. Thanks, guys.